All right, here's this uh, last setup that I showed um, running on uh, solar energy, and that's a 4 volt, uh, 100 milliamp hour panel that's uh, driving the circuit. And uh, it's a very, very cloudy day here, and so this is uh, not overpowering this, which is really, really a good thing because I'm back to discussing what uh, a self runner might look like. And a friend of mine asked me about, uh, wouldn't uh, the panel on this setup control the um, out of control, um, uncontrollable speed up of the motor in conjunction with the capacitor, the capacitor, the value of the capacitor? And it got me thinking about this. What would happen if, if you did have a self-runner that was absorbing energy somehow, some way? and uh, basically sending it around in a circle with an additional energy coming into it. And I don't think it would overspin. I don't think it would uh, be an out of control situation. It would look like this. You'd have a, a uh, value on the system that's stabilized. As soon as the loads on the system got to an equilibrium, I think the motor would just sit there like this. It would just sit there and run. And depending on uh, the energy coming in and the method of doing it, it would run at a certain RPM. And uh, you can't even see this thing uh, out here very well, but this is a load, and you can adjust the load on the system so that it doesn't over rev, and it would just it would just sit there and run, but it wouldn't stop. And the voltage on the uh, capacitor at a certain point, I think, would just stabilize. It would just get to a certain point. And uh, depending on how the energy was put into the system, uh, the motor would just sit there and run. And uh, this is this is a, a major dream that uh, I think it's it's well. Here's an example. It's doable with a, with a ambient energy source. In this case, it's our sun. But suppose it was a heat differential, a differential between cold and hot or um, some other source of, of energy that somehow got into that system, it somehow made it in, and then was controlled by loading it. By putting a load on it, you would control the over, out of control uh, scenario. So anyway, it's just uh, one more uh, of my thoughts on what a uh, self-running motor might look like. It might look like just like that. Just sitting there happily running along. Thanks for watching.